आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद ऑस्की नंबर वन ठीक है राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू शॉर्ट हिस्ट्री है फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड मेल विथ पॉली आर्थरजिया इमेजिंग फाइंडिंग्स मोस्ट एप्रोप्रिएट डायग्नोसिस अंडरलाइंग इटियोलॉजी एंड एनी डिफरेंशियल ओके कॉपी में भी लिखना है चैट में भी आप लिख सकते हो बट कॉपी पेन पे लिखो वी वॉन्ट टू सिम्युलेट दी एग्जाम एनवायरमेंट सो दैट वी डोंट फ्रीज देयर ऑन द एग्जाम डे दिस इज ऑल लाइक अ वॉर्म अप तो अभी यू हैव टू डू इट नो मैटर कितना इनर्शी आए जस्ट ओवरकम दैट इनर्शिया फटाफट कॉपी पेन में लिखिए वॉट एवर इज कमिंग टू योर माइंड okay so let me see the answers which are coming gout hyperuricemia and alcohol martel sign chronic gout ki arthritis punched out lesions red right bite erosion bilkul sahi martel sign alcohol red meat sudden fluctuations with acid levels okay so i'm getting very good responses now let's have a look at the answers ओके सो फाइंडिंग्स में व्हाट डू वी गेट दीज आर वेल डिफाइंड पंच्ड आउट जक्स्टा आर्टिकुलर इरोजन्स ओके सो वी नीड टू रिमेंबर दीज आर गोइंग टू बी जक्स्टा आर्टिकुलर एंड दीज मे आल्सो इन्वॉल्व द बेर एरियाज लाइक रूमेटॉइड आर्थराइटिस में होता है जहां पे कार्टिलेज डेफिशिएंट होती है यहां पे भी बेर एरिया इन्वॉल्व हो सकता है पेरी आर्टिकुलर एंड जक्स्टा आर्टिकुलर इरोजन्स with overhanging edges because there is some reactive new bone formation which is happening at the edges so we get overhanging edges this is the famous martel sign which was pre pg question also and along with that very important is periarticular soft tissue so this is just sounding a little like rheumatoid arthritis yahan pe you get swelling in rheumatoid arthritis metatarsophalangeal joints and the pip वैसे इसमें भी you know the tophi which forms is the soft tissue swelling there is inflammation and yahan pe hoga there will be crystal deposition now because it is gout the crystal which is depositing is msu that is mono sodium urate theek okay? hai the crystal is going to be msu that is monosodium urate crystals and they are going to be sclerotic margins because there is reactive bone formation it is a relatively benign thing so there is time for new bone formation also so there are going to be sclerotic margins diagnosis is gouty arthritis which is a type of crystal arthropathy another important type is cppd jahan pe calcium pyrophosphate deposition hota hai it also has a predilection for the lower limb important to look for your ankle and knee joint in case of cppd okay and uh, ab iska a little bit about the etiopathogenesis so this is basically a metabolic disorder monosodium urate deposition in joints and around the joints hyperuricemia now it can be because of two causes either the production is more or the excretion is lesser and the age group is a middle age 40 to 50 year males may more common than females everyone knows this most important the most common location is first metatarso phalangeal joint and apart from that it can be seen sometimes in the hand in the wrist so even if they you know give you an upper limb hand or a wrist radiograph in exam and if you are getting a typical feature you can think in lines of gout however the most common is going to be first mtp apart from that elbow and knees theek hai erosions ka kya kya characteristic features hain first is the marginal bare area periarticular may go up to the level of metaphysis also so erosions are not just happening in and around the joint but they are also going maybe up to the level of the metaphysis they are progressive and intraosseous medullary involvement can also be there 
Now, two very important things is number one is preserve joint space. Like when we study the most common type of arthritis, which is osteoarthritis, we see that there is a narrowing of joint space. There is all the destruction of the articular cartilage, knee joint, medial compartment, wedge bearing areas. So there, the joint space is the one of the first things which is picked up on an X-ray. But here, the joint space per se is preserved. Because the articular cartilage hai, that is not the prime target. Okay, so joint space will be preserved. And like in your hemophilic arthritis or in your juvenile rheumatoid arthritis and your psoriatic, there are certain arthritis where you have periarticular osteopenia because of the increased blood supply, because of hyperemia. There is relative uh, osteopenia, but here. There is no osteopenia. That means the bone density is also preserved in the affected joints and bones. So two very important distinctive points is preservation of joint space and preservation of bone marrow density. It's K kya kya important DDs banenge, one we already talked about, CPPT. Another is rheumatoid. In some cases, psoriatic can also be there. So again, these arthritis, a lot of their times they have overlapping features. But uh, usually in exams, they don't test you very hard. Usually they bring kind of typical cases, not very atypical or overlapping cases in exams. But yeah, in real life, it's a really hard time. Sometimes you get stuck how to diagnose one from the other. Achha. Then what about the TOFI? These are periarticular crystal deposition. Sometimes they may undergo calcification also. And other places apart from the great toe is your uh, olecranon or associated prepatellar bursitis. T1, T2, pe, they have an intermediate signal and they might show some mild post-contrast enhancement. Okay, so this was in short a holistic view about Gaudi arthritis and in general about crystal deposition arthropathies. Now we shall move on to the next os. This is an obese male child and I'll help you a little bit with the age of the child. It's not a very young child. He's like 13, 14 years age group. That is a teenager. So an obese teenager, male boy who is having limping gait. So first is your findings, most appropriate diagnosis. You have to tell me about the types of Salter Harris fractures. And if this is any of the types of Salter Harris, this particular diagnosis falls into any type of Salter Harris. Uh, important complications of this disease process. And what are some important lines, angles and arch in pediatric hip. So take your time. You have one minute to yourself and answer each and every part of the question. Okay, so we're getting uh, an overloaded response is very, very good. Okay, so there is a little bit of confusion. Uh, some people are saying it as uh, slipped capital femoral, some are saying it as perthes. Okay. Trithovan sign cleans line. Okay. Ritvik Sahu has answered very good. Some difficult lines also. Perkins and Hilgen Reiner and Shenton's arch. Very good. Shenton's line growth restriction. Osteoarthritis and avascular necrosis. So you guys have given me all the correct answers. So kudos to you. Chaliyeska dekh lete So what are the findings?